It's a major medical advancement, and it's happening right here in the East. Today, surgeons with Vidant Medical Center and ECU's Brody School of Medicine announced their successful use of a technology called Gamma Tile. It was developed to treat people with recurring brain tumors. Night of Your Science, Aaron Dean is in our newsroom tonight with more on how it works. Aaron. Ken Shayla Viden is one of eight hospitals in the U.S. using gamma tiles. It's a form of radiation therapy used to release radiation to the part of the brain that needs it. Now, it's designed to slow down tumor regrowth in patients. The use of the little tile will help eliminate the need for daily trips to the hospital for radiation therapy. Sur surgeons say that the treatment is ideal for people who don't have transportation or live far away from a hospital. Once doctors place the tile. It delivers 90% of the radiation dose in 33 days. This form of therapy is offered to people who have already had a brain tumor surgery but had the tumor come back. They're less likely to have toxicity from the radiation itself. Um, we don't have to worry as surgeons about wound healing. There's, in none of the cases that have been done, there are eight gamma tile centers in the country right now. There's not been a wound healing issue, which is not the case with conventional radiation therapy. Also, doctors say the body naturally absorbs the collagen tiles and, the ol and only small inactive rods remain in the body. Other places that use this form of therapy include large cities like Phoenix, San Francisco, and Atlanta. And surgeons go on to tell me that two gamma tile surgeries have already been successfully completed here in the state. In the newsroom, Aaron Dean, on your side.